When I first came to Haiti after the earthquake in January 2010, it was about 10 days after the earthquake. However, things were in a state of total chaos. The degree of devastation has to be seen to be believed. It, you know, collapsed buildings were everywhere, rubble was in the streets, traffic was unable to move around it, people were still wandering around in a sense of daze and confusion. Those that had lost their homes were under, out in the, car, in the parks, out in the camps, under very makeshift shelters. Shelters made basically from sticks and their own bed sheets and, and bed covers. So in our response to the earthquake in Haiti, CAFOD has focused its work on a number of areas. At the very beginning, our major focus was on clean water and sanitation for those who'd lost their homes. Alongside that, we've had a, a large investment, one of our sort of most high profile pieces of the work has been in, in helping people who lost their homes in Port-au-Prince and in the towns of Jacmel and around there to rebuild their homes, to get new homes. Alongside that we've done a few smaller areas of work in terms of protecting the environment, reducing the potential impact of future disasters such as storms and other earthquakes that may come, and also quite importantly not forgetting the, the the national organisation with which we work, helping them build their own capacity, their own ability to respond to future disasters without having as much international assistance perhaps as they've had in the, few, in the last emergency. As part of CAFAD's humanitarian response programme to the earthquake that happened in Haiti in January 2010, a major part of our work has revolved around providing permanent construction for the populations affected in Crécier, Port-au-Prince and Jacmel. What makes CAFAT's houses special is that we've included a training component to the construction programme. This involved blockmakers training to ensure that the quality of the materials used in the houses are up to minimum standard to ensure the safety of the people living inside. The teams that are building the houses have been trained by Haitian engineers to ensure that the techniques that they are using ensures an anti-seismic construction and hurricane resistant roofing. Uh, this slightly more expensive approach will ensure that when an earthquake happens again or hurricanes come through the country, the houses won't go anywhere and we don't have the disaster that we've seen in 2010. C'est de bien parce qu'il y a des leçons qu'on a tirées dans cette formation. La façon dont on a, euh, comment dirais-je, euh, expliqué aux travailleurs, on de, de fabriquer les blocs, les, les, les blocs qui, qui vont utiliser dans, dans la nouvelle construction. The Nurturings Project is a CAFOD supported programme which brought together the creators of The Muppets and Fraggle Rock and one of our partners in Haiti called Catholic Relief Services. CRS commissioned three films from uh, the creators of The Muppets to make films that would inspire Haitian children and give them hope and a sense of control over their lives. Another component of CAFOD's work in Haiti in response to the earthquake is that we are working in schools across the city of Port-au-Prince, which was in areas that have been badly hit by the earthquake. We're teaching children how to evacuate safely, how to react to natural disasters, and we're also giving teachers the skills on, in disaster management and first aid response. Invisible. On pensait qu'il n'y aurait pas de vie. Après, avec CAFOD, on travaille le projet de gestionnaire ici des astres. C'est un projet qui est arrivé au moment où l'on avait besoin. I think we can point to a number of successes in our response to the earthquake in Haiti. The first and perhaps the most fundamental is the astounding generosity and spirit and the contributions made by the Catholic community of England and Wales which allowed CAFOD to respond at such a scale to the needs of the people of Haiti.